in this video we will discuss about viva questions and answers for basic electrical and electronics engineering part 2 which are useful for first year btech engineering students explain source transformation technique a voltage source in series with resistance can be transferred to a current source in parallel with resistance where the value of resistance will remain same and the value of current source is equal to voltage source by resistance what is practical voltage source ideal voltage source in series with resistance is called practical voltage source r the voltage source which does not deliver a constant voltage with respect to current is called a practical voltage source what is practical current source an ideal current source in parallel with a resistance is called a practical current source or a practical current source is a source which de does not deliver a constant current with respect to voltage what is the internal resistance of ideal voltage source internal resistance of ideal voltage source is zero what is the internal resistance of practical voltage source internal resistance of practical voltage source is minimum and is in series what is the internal resistance of ideal current source the internal resistance of ideal current source is infinite what is the internal resistance of practical current source the internal resistance of practical current source is maximum and is in parallel what are the types of sources independent sources and independent sources what are the types of independent sources independent voltage source and independent current source what are the types of dependent sources dependent voltage source and dependent current source what are the types of dependent voltage source voltage dependent voltage source and current dependent voltage source what are the types of dependent current sources voltage dependent current source and current dependent current source the dependent sources are represented in rhombus what is the independent voltage source independent voltage source is a source which does not depends upon any other voltage or current what is independent current source independent current source is a source which does not depends upon any other voltage or current what is dependent voltage source dependent voltage source is a source which depended upon any other voltage or current what is dependent current source dependent current source is a source which depends upon any other voltage or current what is phase voltage it is the voltage between phase and neutral what is its value in india 220 volts plus or minus 6 percentage define frequency number of cycles per second is called frequency and its units are in hedges it is represented with f what is its value in india in india its value is 50 hedges what is the line voltage line voltage is the voltage between two phase wires what is the phase angle between phases in a three phase system 120 degrees what are the types of three phase systems three phase four wire star connected system three phase three wire delta connected system relationship between phase voltage and line voltage in three phase star connected system line voltage equals to root three times r 1.732 times phase voltage what is the relationship between phase current and line current in three phase balanced star connected system line current is equals to phase current what is the relationship between phase voltage and line voltage in three phase delta connected system line voltage is equals to phase voltage what is the relationship between phase current and line current 
in three phase delta connected system line current is equals to root 3 times r 1.732 times phase current if three wires are connected in series what is its equivalent resistance r equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 if three resistors are connecting in parallel what is its equivalent resistance 1 by r is equals to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 if three inductors are connected in series what is its equivalent inductance l is equals to l1 plus l2 plus l3 if three inductors are connecting in parallel what is its equivalent value of inductance is 1 by l equals to 1 by l1 plus 1 by l2 plus 1 by l3 if three capacitors are connecting in series what is equivalent capacitance 1 by c is equals to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 see you can observe the relationship between resistors and capacitors are quite opposite in case of resistors connecting in series r equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 in case of capacitors connecting in series 1 by c equals to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 if three capacitors are connecting in parallel what is its equivalent capacitance if three capacitors are connecting in parallel c is equals to c1 plus c2 plus c3 delta to star transformation in delta to star transformation the delta values are given which are nothing but r12 r23 and r31 are given now we can able to find out the values of star values r1 r2 and r3 r1 equals to r12 r31 by r12 plus r23 plus r31 r2 equals to r12 r23 by r12 plus r23 plus r31 r3 is equals to r23 r31 by r12 plus r23 plus r31 this is a relationship for delta to star delta resistance are given you can converting into star star to delta transformation now r1 r2 and r3 values are given you can able to find out the values in delta which is r12 r23 and r31 r we can find using the formulas r12 equals to r1 plus r2 plus r1 r2 by r3 r23 equals to r2 plus r3 plus r2 r3 by r1 r31 equals to r3 plus r1 plus r1 r3 by r2 by comparing with resistors and capacitors the formulas for star 2 delta and delta 2 star are interchanged or the cap capacitors are connecting in star if you want to converting into delta the formulas will be reciprocal which is nothing but you have to use delta to star means the formulas are c1 c2 you can obtain c1 c2 and c3 quite reciprocal of resistor formulas and capacitor formulas now in place of there you can find out the values for star to delta you can use the formulas of c1 c2 c3 for delta to uh, star you can find the values of c1 to c2 3 and c3 1 thank you for watching please subscribe and share if it is useful